Antivirus Pro and a lot of other malware downloads and hijacks the desktop and stops users doing a lot of things. And what you need to do is to download Smith Fraud Fix from Siri. And this is a great little program and it's free. Simply download it to your desktop, save the file and reboot into save mode. Double click the Smith Fraud Fix icon and it will open a command window. Press a key to continue and you need to press the number 2 on your keyboard and then press enter. And this will then go through a cleanup process and it will carry out a series of cleanup processes uh, with killing processes it will clean the hosts, it will scan the VAC fix, uh, generic Renos fix, it will delete infected files, it will scan IED fix, scan agents and 404 and the DNS it will delete temporary files and it will carry out a disk cleanup. And it takes a little while, so just sit there and be patient. Now, when it's done this, it will ask you if you want to clean the registry. And again, you want to clean the registry on your keyboard, type Y for yes and press enter. And it may well ask you if you want to clean the WinniNet DLL if it exists. It doesn't exist in all cases. So again, if it does ask, type the letter Y for yes and hit enter and allow it to perform the cleanup. Now once the cleanup has been completed, you will be back to the main command window. You will have a text file open in Notepad and it will show you more or less what it's done. You can close this and what you need to do is to quit the program and reboot into save mode. So enter Q for quit, press enter and reboot into save mode again. And there are a few other cleanups to be carried out manually. So this is what we'll do next. You open up your C drive and you will find the report document in the root of the drive which gives you the whole of the fix that has been completed. Now this is for information only and you can look through it if you like or you can totally ignore it. It's there for information. Now what you do want to do is to open up the Windows folder, find the temp file, open that and then click on edit and select all. You then either hit delete on your keyboard or the red cross and confirm deletion to the recycle bin. And this will delete the contents of the folder. You then want to go back and go back again to your C drive. And this time you want to open the C drive and select documents and settings. Double click to open it. Click on the local user and again click on the temporary file or the temporary folder edit select all and again delete the contents now you want to go back to documents and settings again and in this case when you double click it not all of the folders may be visible you want the local user you want local settings now if you can't see it, go to Folder Options, go to View and scroll down and click on Show Hidden Files and Folders and click OK. Open the Local Settings folder, open up the Temp folder, again Edit, Select All and delete the selected items. And that's it, it will clean them all out. You know, confirm the deletion, it will send them to, re to the recycle bin if you use a program like CCleaner, it'll clean out the recycle bin when you've finished.